The cancel culture mob comes for Ricky Berwick again. Oh, man. Well, you think he could run fast enough to get away from him? I'm just kidding, brother. I already know he can't. All right, let's see what we got here. This is from Tipster. Tipster posted that he's going to... He's going to try to do what I do and just react uh, do, to everything in the world. So we'll see who's uh, more the more attractive fat person. Let's see what we got here. Ricky Berwick. Well, please do not attack or harass anyone mentioned in this video. But you can attack everybody else, guys. I'm just kidding. All right. So I believe in the past live stream, I think it was the previous live stream, okay. uh, I covered uh, an attempt to cancel Ricky Berwick by Keffels and her followers, right? Uh, basically, what happened was there was the whole thing with Keffels and Rich from Review Tech USA gunning for uh, one of the quartering sponsors. There's been this feud with Rich and the quartering. G Fuel. Isn't it G Fuel? I'm surprised G Fuel stuck with them. They didn't stick with uh, Keemstar. Look at Tiny just resubscribed for seven. Oh, no, it was Meta PCs. Incredible. Incredible. That's what I'm saying, brother. Or sister. Quite some time. And recently, know. Keffels has a bit of a back and forth where she's trying to debate. The quartering and he's just like refusing the whole thing's kind of cringy if i'm being yeah, honest yeah, yeah. that would be the battle of the lol cows that'd be pretty crazy it's on both sides uh but there was an attempt to target one of uh the quartering sponsors meta pcs which is a great company that supports a lot of content creators in the content okay. creation community whether they're streamers youtubers that sort of thing they support a lot of great people and they support any porn stars because then maybe i can get a sponsorship i love that company in fact when i purchase my next pc i'm gonna purchase one through meta now it's just a i probably won't though just letting you know meta pcs Fuck you. <laughs> just kidding. I just don't do anything for what it was. I, I just, uh, I'm just going to go to the, uh, to the local store and buy myself an Alienware from Best Buy. The, the best PC that you can get on the market. Best price points. Best everything. I'm not kidding. I'm kidding. Matter of finding out what friend's code I'm going to use when I buy said PC. Do I go with code Boblax? Do I go with code Tongue? I don't know. Whose code do I use? Maybe I'll let you guys decide, chat, when I go ahead and do that. Uh, but in any case, Meta's a great company, okay. and they got dragged into this drama. Sounds like Tips is really trying to get the uh, Meta PC's uh, <laughs> sponsor. <laughs> and so I had my opinions on it. I basically said, hey, we shouldn't be going after sponsors. That's a big no-no. And uh, one of the people who chimed into the situation was also Ricky Berwick. He said, hey, look, okay. Meta's a good company. Mm. Keep Meta out of it. Like, if you have a drama with quartering, go after quartering, but just keep meta pcs out of it they're not part of this problem what does he apps actually say i'm just curious is that what he right like, what does he say and keffels took that as a defense of jeremy which i don't think ricky was defending jeremy i think he was more defending meta pcs because not only is well i would just like to see the original tweet that we that keffels is interpreting as a defense i think that would be a good place to start do we have that he's sponsored by them <laughs> but on top of that uh he's friends with the guy who runs the company Okay, so understandably, he's going to defend his friend's company. And again, it's it's a good company, so they're worth defending. I personally prefer artesian builds. But she saw that as a defense of quartering, so she went after Ricky. I'll kind of recap with this tweet. I was confused why Ricky Berwick was defending the quartering, misgendering me. Okay. Ricky did not defend that. And being transphobic okay. with this huge platform, and then found out that he's friends with neo-Nazi cartoonist Stone Toss and was oh. shilling Stone Toss NFTs. Is, is Stone Toss a neo-Nazi, or is he just kind of like a dumb conservative? Because that's what it sounds more like from what I've seen. I remember. But everybody's a neo-Nazi now. It's rather insane. The, the, there's no faster way to destroy a word than to just overuse it. You know? Like, the, the, words, the word has no meaning. The Nazi means nothing nowadays, unfortunately. Because everybody's a fucking Nazi. So, who... It's insane. For this we have to stop... Um, talking about we need to stop speaking based on the way that we feel right because what's happening is like you're like oh this person's like for whatever reason nazis just asshole now it's been a while that like being a conservative is like a curse word in the online sphere and it's like okay whatever but now it's nazi like because when people are you know can just calling someone a conservative no longer works it's crazy stone toss situation Ricky had promoted this thing. He got an opportunity to work with Stone Toss for like NFTs and stuff, and he was promoting it. And oh, cancel and break Ricky Burke for NFTs because I don't understand those. Not long after that, he got a lot of backlash for working with Stone Toss. Uh, apparently, Ricky just wasn't familiar with Stone Toss's past. From what I hear, he's kind of an edge lord, and he said some Whatever. really uh, saucy things in his past. I'll be honest, I don't know all the Stone Toss lore, but I looked into it briefly when this situation initially happened, and like. Stone Toss has some questionable takes. Okay, well, if you want to send me something, like you, you can. I'm not educated on him because I don't care about, mostly don't care about stupid cartoonists, fucking idiots. 
I've seen some of his like some of his shit, some of his cartoons, and they're just fucking stupid. But Ricky didn't know. Okay, so very quickly this project got shut down. Ricky kind of like, okay, it is what it is, and that was it. He's not friends with Stone Toss. Okay. They did. They were working on a project together. Okay, and as soon as like people started speaking out against it, it's like, okay, like I'm just not gonna work on that. Like okay. it is what it is. Um, but yeah, she's trying to like dig into Ricky's past and use that to try and cancel Ricky. Yeah. Why does everybody? Go for my boy Ricky. Like, I don't understand, like, why everybody has this hate boner for Ricky. He's, like, the most lovable. Who else goes after Ricky? I'm just curious. Lovable person on the internet. And if you've ever had the privilege of meeting him behind the scene, he's the nicest guy you'll ever fucking meet. Uh, but anyway, there was that. Okay. Uh, he leaked my DM, so I may as well do the same. Dude is friends with members of the alt-right neo-Nazis and calls bigotry <laughs> against the trans community drama. Really trying to twist the narrative against Ricky. Ricky, and the funny thing is, in these DMs, Ricky actually gave her good advice. When you're a content creator or an influencer on the internet, like this is sound advice. This shit is the internet. You tell people not to do something, they are going to do the opposite. Mm -hmm. And this shit is drama. You shouldn't care what other people say or think about you ever. Real world versus internet uh, or the internet. And it's true. Like there's always going to be shitty people who say shitty things about you on the internet. And true. like if you address every true. single person that like ever says something shitty about you, you're going to waste your time. And I'll admit, I fell into that trap before. I used to respond to a lot of people that were not worthy of my time of day. Yeah, I mean, that's why I try to I have a pretty stern anti-Twitter stance, to be honest with you. The thing is, is that, like, t Twitter is an abysmal um, horse shit. Is horse shit. Uh, it's the worst place to respond. You don't get to have any thoughtful, you know, well-thought-out uh, content or anything. It's just a very inflammatory platform. Where you pretty much just give you like a hot take. I don't really like text responses in general. That's why I don't like to like respond to people like that. Um. So yeah, for the most part, if I'm gonna respond to somebody, uh, thank you so much for the sub. I'm gonna pause you. Um, thanks for the sub, brother. If I'm gonna respond to anybody, it'll probably be on like a YouTube video because I get to sit down and I get to like think about what I want to say and I get to go through like a whole thing and I get to express myself in a long form manner. Uh, you know, and there are some people who are just not worth responding to. There are just some people that are not uh, worth responding to in, in general, you know, and I think that sometimes it can be cool to have like your stream because there's every once in a while, there's like somebody who I'll respond to. And then I'll be like, you know what? I'm not going to post the video. You know, it's weird. It's like I get to vent in like a public forum with like my closest fans. But I don't like put it up and like put it up on like uh, my platform and be like, yeah, this, you know, sometimes it's just venting and you're better off doing it. Uh, I feel like in a stream than you are you're doing it on Twitter. And that just doesn't make sense to me. Um, but this is good advice. This is, if you are an influencer, this is good advice to follow. And so she, she tried to cancel him for that. Pretty, pretty cringe. I'm surprised that Keffels didn't post like I've always wanted to ratio a handicapped person or something, you know, underneath Ricky Berwick's uh, post stuff. Uh, but that should be the end of it. Okay. Like she said what she said. It's whatever. But it's not over yet because yesterday she started tweeting this responding to the courting's video about me and talking about how both him and Ricky Berwick okay. directly financially support a neo-Nazi and indirectly use their platforms to promote Holocaust denial, anti-Semitism, transphobia, and Whoa. scientific racism. That's a lot of words. <laughs> Jesus. Okay. Did she, did she ever post that video? I, I when the fuck has Ricky ever done that? I saw it. Let's see. I've known Ricky for quite some time now, and not just as a fan. Like, me and Ricky are buddies. Like, what Let's you just described right now is not fucking Ricky Berwick. Oh, it's not even on He also here. encouraged his audience to harass me after I called him out or called out okay. someone for using the R word. So you can add ableism to that pile. Can I just be honest? Okay. I'm trying to remove the R slur from my book vocabulary because it's just one of those battles that's yep. not fighting but if i'm being completely honest hey. with my thoughts on the r slur like yep i don't care i don't think it's that big of a deal I let me just tell you something with this r slur thing that's going on with this r slur listen it is not a coincidence that i start engaging in discourse within the commentary community to not use the r slur anymore and all of a sudden people are like you know what maybe we shouldn't use this word so much <laughs> what do you think it's working that was me, bro. That was me. All right, I'm. I'm gonna. I'm taking it. I don't care if you guys are like, Papa, God, I think you're over it. No. Okay, listen. I had my conversation here with uh, with with Stardust about the Arsler, and then I also in this thing here, 
I had a conversation with Bo Blacks and Augie about it as well. I think it's probably a bunch of you think a, a lot of like uh, okay with it like they they're not gonna so I'm taking all the credit all right and I'm proud of it I'm proud of it because I actually do, do want to lessen the usage of that word and at the end it, it's just it's just it's a better it's good it's a good to reduce that okay all right yep bad take it's a goddamn fun word to roll off your tongue but it's hurtful <laughs> yeah I guess so oh <laughs> so yeah obviously if you're referring to someone who has some kind of handicap as you know the arsler that's a pretty shitty thing to do like i wouldn't yo, agree with that yo, yo, unless it's someone yo, like ricky who's like yo, okay meaning yo, about it yo, but like otherwise yo, like yeah yo. you probably shouldn't call personally i would just say keep it in private because like i say like my biggest thing is if you use it in a more public setting and you're saying throwing off the arsler um Then you're creating an atmosphere that's uncomfortable for people who are offended by that word, and like you know that. So that's that's the biggest thing there. There you go. People have been advocating to not use the word for all. Shut the fuck up, pussy. Shut the fuck up, bitch. I don't care if I'm. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck what you say. Okay, I'm own. I'm taking this one. I'm taking the small wins in life. All right. So fuck you, bitch. <laughs> call handicapped people the arsler but like if i see something stupid or if i see someone doing something stupid and i use the arsler i don't personally think that's a big deal if you disagree with me fine i'm open to different opinions but realistically speaking like i don't care i don't think the arsler is that big of a deal like i said i'm trying to remove it from my vocabulary just because it's one of those battles that's just like while i feel the way i feel about it it's just not worth the hassle of dealing with it i mean I, I'm an adult I have self-control I don't need to use the arsler to communicate what I'm trying to say or any, I disagree just kidding. any slur for that matter <laughs> but like I do have my feelings I really don't think the arsler is that big of a deal anyway let's take a look at these screenshots mm -hmm, mm -hmm. we have Zalori oh shout out to Zalori I know Zalori small content creator doing good stuff okay okay Twitter is okay, filled okay, with okay. arslers I'm just gonna I hate that I have to say that I Twitter is filled with arslers let's ruin the career of a 17 year old boy trying to get him deplatformed and nuke his bank accounts so that way he learns his lesson who are we talking about what how in any fucking universe would that work? What are they talking about? This person responds with, wow, the R word? That's a slur. Not cool, mate. Wait, is this just like random? Does this have anything to do with the original controversy? Uh, Ricky responds with, it's not oh. a slur. Educate and socialize better. Well, Ricky, I'm just letting you know you're wrong. But that's fine. Like, you do you. Socially, that's, that word is not anywhere near as bad as anything else. But we should advocate generally for it to uh, be considered, you know, not a good word. Okay. I'm just letting you know. Okay. That's a slur that is mostly targeted towards uh, people with intellectual disabilities, especially those that are like high support needed um, within like the system. And they all hate it. I just want you to know, I would, you know, I've talked to my wife. I know I say this, people like are bored of it, but my wife is a behavioral specialist for adults with disabilities. Like I talk to people, I talk to the direct support professionals. Uh, I always reference people to go look up the Down Syndrome Jubilee video because they talk about it there. Like it is. It's something that we should, like, get out of our, our uh, vocabulary. Okay. Okay, okay, so, wow. This is encouraging harassment. Ricky disagreed with you. He's harassing you because he disagreed with you. That's harassment, chat. True. He tried uh, getting his sheep after me, too. I have no idea if he's left the tweet up or not, but he seems... What about spaz? Well, clearly the fact that we say spaz instead of the R slur or the S slur, it's not as bad. You probably shouldn't use it, but I would say it's not as bad. Right? Maybe spaz would be kind of like gay. Like, that's kind of gay, which I'm trying to work out of my vocabulary. But, you know, I'm just kind of gay, so. Seems like enough of a snake to delete. Uh, very rarely does Ricky delete any tweets, because he stands by what he says. This is all he does. And his oh, does he, tipster? I don't think I've ever seen Ricky stand in his life. I'm just kidding. <laughs> that's a little too much. <laughs> his audience to harass his enemies uh. and makes them out to be crazy and unreasonable. Dude, I'm sorry, but, like, just responding. If you're going to make a claim about Ricky and he responds to you, like he has every right to respond. Don't clip to that. That's not harassment. Don't clip that. Okay. Like Don't if you're gonna that. say bullshit about him, or if you're gonna make that. a statement that he disagrees with, Don't he has that. every right to respond. He's Don't not harassing that. you because he responded to you. This person that says uh, that. it's why he's a typical cry bully. Even Bunty called. Oh my god, mean? you got to bring up Bunty King to make a point. I don't know. Who any god, Bunty are. King is fucking unhinged. Even Bunty King called him out a few years ago before they had their falling out when Ricky's show plans fell through. He became the sour little money hungry prick he is today. Money hungry. Like, obviously, you know, Ricky's doing well for himself, but I've never seen Ricky as someone I would consider money hungry. 
I should start playing the balloons theme song in the background of all my videos. He took a situation that it was a very, you know, negative situation. Most yes, I saw Daniel Larson has a Twitch. I, I guess. People probably would have just, you know, lived a very depressing life. You know, he was handed this disability that he didn't ask for. And he turned it into a positive, right? Sure, sure, sure. But I don't sure, see him sure, as money sure. hungry. I see him as a person who's very grateful for the position that he has. You know, what is this person okay. even talking about? I don't really know Ricky too well, so I'll just take your word for it. And obviously, Ricky caught wind of this, and he did respond to it. Let's see what Ricky had to say. Sorry, buddy. Education is not harassment, and it's social media. Everyone's going to see your shit and your shitty views. Okay, so that's Ricky's huh. response. Bro, you're edu I mean, it, I will say one thing. It's weird to try to tone police like Ricky Burke for using the arsler. You know what I mean? Like, I personally <laughs> disagree with the use, but I mean, it's like weird to be like, wow. You know, I had Ricky, you know what I mean? Like... I think he struggled enough in life. <laughs> Education is just uh, brainwashing. You and your friend, young. They gotta fucking uh, police everything he says. But I guess that's the that's that's how you know you made it when people uh, criticize you for dumb shit. Crip comedy. Uh, why am I not following Young Crip? What the fuck? Let me drop a follow. I love Young Crip. Okay. Are some of the cool. saddest cry bullies I've ever met. Cry bullies. I don't know why, but the term cry bully just seems really cringy to me. I don't know, something about I, it really I prefer me humbly. Out. Your saddest cry bully I've ever met. You punch down on strong autistic people and accuse them of playing the victim when they fight back. Fuck off. What is this? What is What? For your education is just brainwashing. You and your friend are some of the saddest cry bullies I've ever met. You punch down on strong autistic. Who's the strong autistic person? Usually you'd say strong person with autism. You would use person first language. Okay, guys? Uh, you know, because I'm so smart. <laughs> what does this statement have to do about harassing autistic people? What? I mean, even if, like, let's say this person, like, he, he responded to this person, and they are autistic, like, how's Ricky supposed to know you're autistic? I don't know. This just seems like a big stretch to me. That's all. I mean, if they have autism, I could see why they'd be sensitive about the word. There's nothing really wrong with that. They're allowed to be. And again, like, the, the R slur is usually targeted towards people with intellectual disabilities more than anything else. Um... So, of course, they would find, like, I wouldn't necessarily imagine Ricky being, like, offended by that word as much as somebody with an intellectual disability. Because usually it's used to put down people with intellectual disabilities, right? Like, mental, I believe mental retardation was, like, the medical term, you know, uh, to describe somebody uh, with, like, that diagnosis. So. All these people do is they stretch it. Well, I don't think it's, like, cancel culture, though. It's, like, a couple of, like, smaller content creators. Like, I don't like this word inside of the, um, like, um, Keffels was trying to, seems like he was, she was trying to cancel him. She's calling him, like, a neo-Nazi, like, insane dumb shit. But when it comes to the R, the Arsler, I think that there's a lot of discourse, and it's starting to bleed into the commentary community. Uh, because the commentary community is a bit regressive in, in the way that they speak, and they talk, and, and they have conversations. And, you know, this stuff is slowly shifting. Try and cancel people. Stop trying to cancel my boy, Ricky, goddammit. Who doesn't love Ricky? Ricky Berwick is a god, a, a gift from God to humanity. Okay. Leave Ricky alone. God damn it. Do I hate Keffels? No, I think that she's annoying from what I've seen so far, but I don't, I, I, it, it takes a lot for me to hate somebody. Thanks for the video, tipster. Tip of my dickster. Thank you so much for watching, guys. And another special shout out to all my Patreon and Twitch subs. If you'd like to support this channel further than you already have by just watching the video alone, Go down to the links below where you can sub on my Patreon, which will allow you to get your name on this beautiful black wall. <laughs> uh, or you can go to the Twitch page and you can actually use a free Amazon Prime sub, if you have Amazon Prime, to subscribe. Thank you very much, guys. Take care.